project is what is known as an, uh, an aquifer storage and recovery system, which as the name implies, is a system for storing water essentially underground and then uh, retrieving it whenever it is needed. So uh, for this project, excess desalinated water from city operations uh, was introduced in an aquifer that is located essentially in the middle of the desert, a few kilometers away from the city. And uh, and the idea or the challenge, the, the challenge for us here was to design an optimum solution uh, or an optimum operation scheme between infiltration and recovery uh, in order to ensure that this water, the, the water that is introduced into the aquifer is not lost into the, the depths of the aquifer. And at the same time, uh, whenever you need it, you can retrieve it easily from these uh, recovery wells that were also constructed in the aquifer and pumped directly back to the city. So again, here, what we needed the most to uh, simulate this model and come up with the optimal solution was data, was local data. Um, uh, on the next slide, you can just see some, some of the examples of the data that was collected. We were lucky to have a lot of data for this project. Um, and uh, again, this, all of this data was introduced into a groundwater flow model. Um, uh, the, the, Especially the, the problem here was particularly complex because not only do you have to model the flow of water, but you also have to uh, model the interaction between the, the fresh water that is introduced and the salt water that is already in the, uh, in the aquifer. So uh, from the creation of this model, we can uh, create a number of, uh, of scenarios, of forecast scenarios uh, that model, uh, that, mo that, that basically uh, tell us what would happen in, under different uh, different recharge scenarios, different infiltration scenarios. Um, uh, essentially, the the images that are seen on the screen um, just to show a quick indication of of how this uh, this freshwater lens that is introduced uh, it evolves with time. So uh, essentially, on the left, the higher the hydraulic head means the more water is introduced, and then in the image on the right. Uh, that shows the concentration. Uh, concentration is represented by the blue water. So the more blue uh, you have on the image, the more fresh water is uh, uh, is present. And then that can allow us to have to design any mitigation measures as, uh, as needed to maybe prevent the water from escaping too far into the aquifer uh, or any anything of the sort. So this was just one example of how of how us as engineers. Uh, have a responsibility or uh, have a big role in promoting the resilience of cities and promoting uh, the sustainability of cities and their readiness in the face of emergencies. Uh, the optimum scenario that we came up with for this project uh, allows allows the city to have a supply of up to 90 days of fresh water at a rate of uh, uh, was it 40 million gallons per day. Um, so that that's what what was important for us to promote the sustainability of the cities, especially in these times where with climate change and many other factors, emergencies are uh, becoming more and more.